game developers and consumers alike, take notice. This is how a sequel is made. Where Banjo-Kazooie was big, Banjo-Tooie was massive. Where Banjo-Kazooie started, Banjo-Tooie expanded. So Granny's been smashed and under a boulder and her two sisters show up to revive her. Two years after the fact, yeah, what a great family, right? Anyways, once revitalized, Gruntilda is after two things. One, get her body back. And two, get revenge on the bear and the bird that did this to her. Just to show you how much she means business, she kills bottles. Yes, that sweet mole that touched you so much last time is dead. Well, actually, he kind of comes back to life at the end, but still, it's serious. Obviously unhappy with that, Jam Jars, Bottles Brother, steps in to take over duties of teaching moves throughout the game. Now, think about this. How many adventure games come to mind where you have to recollect the same weapon in every sequel? Yeah, pretty much everyone. But what's mind-blowing is that Tui lets you keep all the moves from the first game from the get-go, and you still get tons of moves on top of that. That is pretty awesome. Now, if you thought Banjo-Kazooie had some questionable things in it that probably shouldn't have made it an E-rated game, then Banjo-Tooie is just straight-up porno. Some people think that Jolly's Bar in Jolly Roger Bay is a gay bar. Hmm. Oh, and take a look at what the buttons say on Grunty's Life Force machine. I mean, just look at this little rock formation. It's it's obviously... Uh, whatever. It's porn. Well, that's a nice little addition, I guess. But the best addition has to be the four-person multiplayer. Almost every minigame in the single-player adventure is also playable with three other buddies. Just shoot and exit your friends. It's so much fun. But to be really cheap, you want to play as Jinjo, that small fast little bastard. Oh, so you want to know how to unlock Jinjo? Well, good, because that involves one of the greatest mysteries in video game history. The very end of Banjo-Kazooie shows you an ice key and two special eggs you can collect to use in the game. However, there was absolutely no way to actually obtain them. Well, this led to a huge mystery that spawned questions like, what's inside the eggs? What does the ice key unlock? I mean, for years, fans across the world speculated, came up with their own theories, and even went so far as to hack the game to find out. It was only a matter of time before some dudes discovered in-game cheats had actually legitimately opened the way to the key and both eggs, plus four previously unheard of eggs that were never even mentioned. Picking up any of these items lets you see them in a special stop and swap menu, and further hacking suggests that this feature was somehow connected to Donkey Kong 64. So what does this all mean? How does it affect Banjo-Tooie? Well, you can find the egg and the keys in the game without Banjo-Kazooie to unlock some trivial moves and things, but that's not the end of it. Turns out stop and swap was actually going to involve you stopping Banjo-Kazooie and swapping out the cartridge of Banjo-Tooie while the N64 was still on. This would have transferred all those mystical items from one game to the next with an exploit using N64's RAM, but obviously Nintendo wasn't too big on people ripping cartridges out of their consoles like that, so Rare had no choice but to nix this super creative idea before anyone could actually see it fully realized. Bummer. So what would Stop and Swap have unlocked? All we know for sure is a two-player adventure mode in which player two could control enemies and possibly a secret level. But all is A-OK -okay because you can actually get Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie on Xbox Live Arcade with Stop and Swap functionality intact. Yes, Stop and Swapping with these versions even hints at Stop and Swap 2. 15 bucks a pop for both these classics is quite a bargain for Tool Rare's greatest games ever. All that's left to hope for is a proper Banjo 3. And Rare, I saw that Christmas card. Make it. And KI3.